Next story is about virtual rape. Good. It's a frightening and disgusting trend in the world of online gaming. Yes, Hackers rewriting code to simulate sexual assault. Oh. Shauna Hunt is live with the disturbing I reality of virtual rape. Shauna. Virtual well, Roger, rape. in the world of gaming, modifying characters is actually a common thing, but these cases are extreme. These hackers, they're taking control of games being played online, and they're staging these violent attacks, and the scenes are so disturbing, we had to blur the images. Good. Let's see it. Wait, wait till you see them. <laughs> online, they can take your character, lock them in place, have made their character pantsless, and then can simulate sexual assault with your character, and you are helpless to stop it. The graphics are so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is a serious problem. Yeah, it's so fucking disgusting, this is, right? Oh, this, this, wow. Whoever did this should just be locked in jail for the rest of their life. One time when I was playing Star Trek Online, someone was following me around trying to hump me in the game, and I just kind of laughed it off like, what the fuck ever? No, Ben, you were assaulted, buddy. You need to call the Rape Crisis Center. I think I do, well, now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, you need to call them right after the show tonight and let them know that you were fucking virtual raped in Star Trek Online. This attack is eerily realistic, <laughs> but this is Eerily realistic? Hackers. How the fuck clothed. is that eerily realistic? That's not eerily realistic. Rewriting codes and hijacking online video games like Zombie Apocalypse and Grand Theft Auto. The vile scenes are then posted to YouTube. <laughs> oh, he shoot him in the crotch. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Think of the children. Does Think really, of the children. Does it even fucking really matter that they blurred out that little bit right there? Honestly? No. I mean, you can... Americans are stupid. I know. It's like they, they bleep out words on TV that, you know, there's no secret what word they said. Right, and every single person there knows, like, oh, well, they just bleeped out the word fuck or the word shit. I do think this this is a report out of Canada, though, but whatever. Well, fuck Canada, too. That's deplorable and should not be allowed anywhere. Like, they should be banned off the servers immediately. And Sam Meggs, an avid gamer and blogger, tells me in some cases, these hackers, also known as modders for modifying the game, will talk to victims on their headsets during the attacks. When you can hear the person on the other end who's saying these things directly to you and they're saying them directly to you, that's a whole other level of harassment, really. We all know many video games are known for their violence. In Grand Theft Auto, for instance, players carry knives and guns and they get away with looting and murder. But the sexual brutality- That is horrible. Now popping up online has the attention of Toronto police. It is certainly Good. something that we would be finally, you know, interested in hearing about if people a boot. I knew, I knew you were gonna do it yeah. when you said it. You know, and I love how Canadians are like we don't talk. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. We were just talking about that the other day. Every Canadian I've met swears they don't have an accent. A boot, and that's okay. I mean, accents are accents. Usually, you know, when you live in a different place, you may speak a little differently. Nah, it's bullshit. Every way but talking, but mine is fucking horrible. I've experienced it. In this scene, a dog has been modified to do disturbing things. <laughs> and Detective Sean Marshall, who... In it's not a real dog. If it was a real dog, I'd probably have a problem with it. Wow, so in an imaginary world, fucking fictional characters have been modded to do things that some people don't approve of and this is this is a high-ranking police officer taking this shit seriously they're sitting there like wow I, I see that they made the dog hump the air right there wow that's horrible Investigate whoever did so this just needs to be locked up for life cyber crimes tells me this new trend oh, is hard to label lobby. are there charges that could come <laughs> along with this we do investigate cases where people are being bullied online or being extorted online so uh extortion is a real crime yeah you know, uh, si virtual rape is is just silly. That's like a nuisance that is not a criminal matter at all. On yeah, I level. think I think other matters need more attention. Those things the well, police that's will just absolutely what a misogynist investigate would when say, it comes ben. to something like this. We could investigate it. It gets very difficult. Police say in these virtual rapes, harassment would be hard to prove, and tracking down the invisible hacker could be next to impossible. It depends on where the person is that's actually doing it, because they could be anywhere in the world. Right, and 
they wouldn't be able to enforce some sort of strange. No, I think we need to spend a lot of time and resources on this problem, Ben. Yep. Because uh, if we let this go on, then, you know, apocalypse, fucking, you know, everyone's dead. Sam Meg stopped playing online over a year ago because of what she calls a misogynistic mentality that already exists in the world of gaming. And she says these new rape scenes only illuminate that. It's violating, it's triggering for people who have survived assault in the past. It's a visual representation of all that terrible verbal stuff that you get as a woman online. Pretty much okay. any game that you can play online can also be hacked and modified. So we're taking a look at some of the ways that parents can keep their kids from being targeted in their virtual. Is this really a law enforcement issue? I mean, no. If if you don't like it, either don't play the game or complain to the game developer. At the very least, don't try to get the cops involved. They're no, not going to be able to do anything. No, Ben. These people are the scum of the earth, and they just need to be stopped at all costs. World. This if might you know trigger someone, Ben. This might trigger someone. Don't you understand the importance of triggering? I don't know. Explain it to me and do it in your feminist voice, please. Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> someone could see that happening online and be reminded of the time they were raped. And then once they see someone getting raped, if they're raped online, it's going to feel like they're being raped in real life because it is a rape because that character represents themselves. And if they see that character violated, they themselves are being violated. And that triggers them and that could destroy their fragile psyche. So whoever's doing this needs to be put away. They need to be destroyed. They need to be castrated. And their balls need to be hung in the public square so that women can spit on them. Sounds perfectly logical to me. It is logical, Ben. You can kind of get into the back files of any video game. These realistic <laughs> virtual rapes have mainly been happening in... I, I, there's nothing realistic about there's them. Everything when, they've shown, none of it has been realistic. What's up with the floating cone? I don't know. I don't understand. that. Is, is Does that happen in, in real rape? <laughs> when someone's getting raped, is there like an orange <laughs> cone? One of the little them? known facts about rape. If you actually rape someone, an orange traffic cone... <laughs> we'll begin floating over the rape site. Oh, shit. It's just one of those unexplained natural phenomena. Grand Theft Auto, but hackers modifying characters and creating these disturbing scenes can... Is that even a hacker thing where you can shoot the guy in the crotch, honestly? I mean... I don't know. I'm not even sure. I don't and even that's know. not rape. That's just... Yeah, like, what does that even have to do with it? You know, it's like, yeah, you're getting shot in the dick. I, it's not... That's not anyone's definition of rape. Hijack any game if it's played online, putting all gamers at risk, including kids. Well, that's kind of terrifying, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Ahmed. He, he, he sounded really concerned. He's like, oh, I guess that's kind of terrifying, I well, guess. Well, that's kind of terrifying, I guess. After they sat there like, what do you think about the fact that your online characters can be raped in the ass? And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to keep a closer eye on it. 24-year-old Ahmed keeps tabs on his younger brother's gaming life. Abraham is just 12 years old. That's why I don't give him a headset when he's playing online. I usually, usually always mute uh, the outside world. It's mostly just him playing his game itself. And while the only way to avoid becoming the victim of a violent modification is to stay off the internet, gaming expert Sarah Drew tells me there this is are really cards still that parents can like going use. On? Like this is usually the kind of story that lasts for like a minute or two and then it's just right. done. But this know. is just droning on and on and on. Like this is some fucking serious issue that anyone should be fucking concerned about. Must have been a slow news day. I don't know, man. <laughs> to ensure their child's online experience is as safe as possible and it starts with your choice of console. So because the Sony PlayStation is free online to play, they don't have many privacy controls. Uh, whereas the Xbox Live... Ah, these people are working for Microsoft. That I knew it. Microsoft planted this whole story. Console master race. Community, they really have a lot that you can do as a parent, uh, whether that be going in and putting a code on or monitoring the friends or uh, just simply, you know, blocking communications and muting people online so that they can't speak to you. And parents are also being encouraged uh, to pick up a controller and learn the games that your kids uh, are playing and keep consoles and computers. 
Microsoft also wants to let you know that parents can also play games too and buy more games. <laughs> oh, oh, Microsoft. In a family How much room where there's the most supervision. Story? Yeah. Saw some familiar places that I've been to in this report, ironically enough. Like, it it kind of looked like Queen Street West. 